Well, good morning and welcome. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. Day late. We're going to go. It is Thursday, August 25th, the 21st week of Ordinary Time, and the feast day of St. Louis. Uh, that is my confirmation saint, as well as my middle name. Um, but St. Louis, he was King Louis. Uh, and he was, or King Louis, I think. Uh, he was around in the 1200s. Uh, and he was crowned king at the age of 12 years old uh, because his father, King Louis the Eighth, passed away at that time. Uh, so yeah, so King Louis the Tenth is often considered the model of, I of an ideal Christian monarch because he was truly Catholic and he was had a huge service to the poor and just led with a Christian sense of everything in his leadership. Um, and so if you're, you're running a company or, organ, or an organization or anything, uh, he's the guy to look after. Uh, so he is honored as a co-patron of the Third Order of St. Francis, which is what he is um, uh, considered to have uh, take, uh, to take promises to. Uh, so very Franciscan style. That's probably why he's got that uh, service to the poor. Anyway, today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 24, verses 42 through 51. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to him, My master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come to an unexpected day will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. All right, so we've got uh, the faithful and the unfaithful servant. Um, just making sure that we're prepared. You know, you're doing your job. We're doing our Christian duty uh, to make sure that you know, because we can't determine when um, the end of the world is going to come, when Jesus' second coming is going to be. Um, and that says it in Scripture many, many times. Uh, which is interesting, the Christian faiths that claim to be able to predict the second coming, because it's humanly impossible. It kind of contradicts um, the beliefs, anyway, and their statements. But um, Jesus is just telling us this parable as a way to teach us and explain to us that, A, we're not in charge, we're not in control, but to also constantly be, li be living our lives in such a way so that we are so at peace and prepared and ready for the Lord to come that whether it comes during our earthly lifetime or not, it doesn't matter. Uh, so he just really wants to make sure that we are spiritually staying awake and alive and just spreading the good news to all those around us but making sure we possess it ourselves first. Uh, so what is it uh, in, in our life that can, we can do um, so we are more prepared and better prepared for Christ to come? What habits do we need to start or what habits do we need to break? So with all that being said, have a great day. God bless. And keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.